in the first part we created this very simple base mesh model ready for sculpting and I'm just going to make it editable like that and I'm just going to rename it puppet like that okay so um, in order to sculpt an object all we have to do is go to sculpt and then click subdivide and when we do that it automatically creates a sculpting tag for us here and then um, if I click on the tag we've got this option called show layer manager so I'm just going to click on that and this is one of the most important panels because we've got controls for the level and uh, also we've got the ability to uh, add layers uh, delete layers so basically each time you uh, click subdivide the mesh subdivides and we get a new level here so I'm just going to divide it a few more times like that level 2 and then level 3 so what we can do is we can use the slider and go through all the different levels or we can use the small arrows here and the advantage of this is you can basically sculpt different details on different levels so level 0 you could basically grab and pull the mesh and give it some basic refinement and then level 2 you could start adding like uh, nose details and eye details things like that and then level 3 you would add much finer details maybe kind of small veins and uh, kind of scales things like that so this is very powerful and if you want to delete any of the higher levels you can just come back down to level 0 and go to layers delete higher levels so that's quite a useful option and once you do that you can't undo it so be very careful with it so I'm just going to delete the sculpt tag here and I'm going to show you some of the options for subdivide and you can only do this once so usually the smoothness is set to 100% which is great for organic modeling in most cases but sometimes uh, you might want to use less smoothness so I'm just going to hit OK creates the sculpting tag so now every time we subdivide the mesh you'll notice that the mesh is subdividing but the borders of the 3d object are fixed we don't get that smoothing kind of um, subdivision anymore we just get more detail and this could be useful for maybe buildings um, spacecraft and buildings things like that where the geometry is quite rigid but uh, I'm just going to delete this option um, I'm going to go back to 100% smoothness because this object is quite organic. I'm going to add a few subdivision levels. I think this is about the maximum number of uh, polygons I'll need for this project. So three levels, which is more than enough to work with. And um, in the next tutorial, I'm basically going to start sculpting using the brush tools brush tools are located here and what you can do is you can just click here and um, I've already done it but I can do it again I'm just going to close that so we can basically uh, pull off this tab and then snap it just below the icons here and I think that's quite a nice place to have it there's quite a few kind of brush tools and it's actually good to have a text description next to them as well and if you really want, you can right click here and you can get rid of the text. You can enlarge the icons. Um, show get rid of text like that. If you're already familiar with the icons. But I'm going to keep the text. Like that. So in the next lesson, I'm going to go through some of the brushes and we'll actually start sculpting our model as well. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.